Hi everybody, today we are going to be walking through the process of integrating CoolMasterNet with Crestron. Now a couple things to note is that uh, before you start this process you will have to have fully installed a Crestron hub. And the second thing is because CoolMasterNet is going to be run through BACnet, you'll need to have a BACnet device explorer installed as well. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be using an explorer called Gabe and we'll add a link to it in the description below. Uh, so now the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking on the two lines on the bottom left to open the menu. From here, we're going to click on the cog for settings. And then on the bottom left, again, we're going to click on configure system. Uh, we'll have to log in in order to configure it. Okay, now we're on the setup screen. So we will first go to step one to build your house. Uh, now, what you'll see here will depend on uh, how much you've actually configured within uh, Crestron. We've already set up a couple of test ones, and uh, it's also important to note that to scroll through the list of rooms over here, you'll need to click and drag because it is set up for a tablet, uh, so it's not the regular scroll function that you would have on a computer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a new room called new room. We're going to add it over here and then we're going to go back to the main setting in order to set up the Coolmaster Net in our new room. So for that we're going to click on two. Yeah. Now on this next screen you'll see all the different device types that Crestron can be paired with and what we want to be able to do is scroll down to click on other. Now we have to choose the device that we want to pair and it is a BACnet thermostat. And then on the right side, we have to choose the room. So we're going to click on new room. And now we're going to click on the plus sign to add a BACnet thermostat to our new room. So what are we setting up? We're setting up a cool master net. Click OK. Uh, OK, now to configure the cool master net, we'll have to click on this cog. And it needs an object ID. And this is what you're going to need your uh, BACnet Explorer for. So we're going to go over to our BACnet Explorer. Um, and you'll get a, a little bonus here in terms of uh, if you're going to use Yabe, how to uh, work with it. Click on the plus. Uh, over here, we're going to add our local IP and hit add. And you'll see all the devices show up over here. Uh, so if we click on our CoolMasterNet device, when you click on it, you'll see it'll uh, configure as, it'll be recognizable as CoolMasterNet. And then down over here, we want to click on CoolMasterNet again. And then on the right side, you'll see a lot of different uh, information. But what we're looking for is we're looking for the object ID. That's the object identifier. And it is number 65. So now if we go back to the Crestron setup, the object ID is 65. And I'm going to put in uh, 66 because uh, I want you to see what the difference of what it looks like. And over here, it sees offline. It doesn't understand any of the information. So if we go back to the device and we put in the proper number as 65, when you go to the About tab, it'll take a second to refresh. And now you see that all of the information populates almost immediately. It has registered the Coolmaster Net as correct and online, uh, and that has successfully integrated Coolmaster Net with Crestron.